Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss the example for data descriptive for the ungrouped cases. Kali refers to the questions. The mean height of 10 students of a college is 170 cm. The height in cm of 9 of them are as follow. So where we have the numbers. Find the median and the standard deviation of the height for the 10 students. So my suggestion is to rearrange the numbers. So in here we have 158 followed by 161. Then we have 163, 166, and 172, 174, 176, 178, and finally we have 182. So given the information where we have the mean, is equals to 170. So it means that means is equals to 158 plus with the 161 until 182. So we have the summation 1530 plus with the x over 10. Why over 10? Because we have 10 terms and we let the 10 term as the x. And we have 170 multiplied with the 10 is equals 1530 plus with the x. So rearrange the situation. 1700 minus 1530 is equals to x. So x will be equals to 170. So which is the 10th term? So the location for 170 will be around here. So that will be the situation for the 10th term. Next, refers to the question, find the median. So in here we have the median, where we have the 10th term. So 10 divided by 2. So we have the median will be the 5th term. So since the 5th term is the integer, so the formula would be median is equal to 5th term, add on with the 6th term, then divide by 2. The 5th term will be 170 plus with the 6th term, which is the 172, then divide by 2. So the median is equal to 171. Next is to find the standard deviation. So the formula for standard deviation would be summation for x square minus the summation for x bracket square over the n over n minus 1. So do remember, we have the standard deviation for the situation and group data. So it means that 158 square plus with 161 square plus with 163 square and keep on repeating the same process until 182. So we will have 289554 minus 1700 bracket square over 10 divided by 9. So the answer for the standard deviation will be equal to 7.85. So do remember three significant figure. Next, we have the situation for data descriptive. So this time it is a group data. The table shows that the distribution of the age of 120 worker in a particular company. So here we have the table with the first column H followed by the numbers of worker. A. Calculate the mean, median and the standard deviation of the H distribution. B. State the skewness of the H distribution using the Pearson coefficient of the skewness. So my suggestion is to build up the table where we have H which is the class interval followed by F where we have the numbers of worker. So next is to find the midpoint. So how to find the midpoint? The upper boundary which is 24.5 plus with the lower boundary which is 19.5 then divide by 2. So where we have 22 for the first class followed by 27 then 32, 37, 42, 47. Next is to find the cumulative frequency where we have add on the F which is the frequency 4, 18, 
Then we have 50, followed by 88, 112, and finally we have 120. Next is to find the fx, followed by the fx squared. So the summation for the fx will be equal to 4280. The summation for fx squared will be equal to 156940. So calculate the mean, where we have the mean is equal to the summation for fx over the summation for f. So mean will be equal to 4280 over 120. So our mean will be equal to 35.67. Round up the situation. Do remember three significant figures. So the mean will be 35.67. Next is to find the median. So where we have the median? 120 divided by 2. So it will be the 60 term. So where is the location for the 60 term? So the situation will be the, the fourth class. 60. So kindly refers to the situation. And notice that we have the terms for 60 is in the class where we have 35 until 39. So that will be the median class. So the formula for the median, or we can say the Q2, the second quartile. So the formula for the median or the Q2 will be lower boundary for that median class plus where we have N over 2 minus the cumulative frequency for the previous class over the frequency for that class multiplied with the class size. So in this case, our median class will be 35 and 39. So the lower boundary will be 34.5 plus with 60 minus the 50 because of the previous class over the frequency for that class will be 38. Then the class size will be the upper boundary where we have 39.5 minus the lower boundary 34.5. So with the help from the calculator, our median will be 36. 1. Do remember 3 significant figure. Next is to find the standard deviation. So, where we know that the summation for fx square minus the summation for fx bracket square over where we have n over n minus 1. So kindly substitute the situation. So square root of where we have 156940 minus 4280 bracket square over 120 over 119. So where we have the standard deviation 6.001. B. State the skewness of the edge distribution using the Pearson coefficient of skewness. So where we have the formula, 3 multiplied with the mean minus the median over the standard deviation. So kindly substitute the value. Where we have the formula, 3 multiplied with 35.7 minus 36.1 over 6.001. So the value will be negative 0 0.2. So the situation will be skew to the left. Next, here we have the example for permutation and combination. Ali gets to choose five cake flavor. So here we have five cake flavor, seven icing flavor, and then three topping flavor. So if he can only choose one of each flavor, how many cakes are possible? So in here, we have the situation for combination. 5C1 multiply with 7 icing, C1 multiply with 3 topping, C1. And we have the final answer, 105 possible cakes that we can have. Next, we have another situation for permutation and combination. There are 10 men, 15 women, and 12 children participating in a family day event. 
in how many ways can a group where we have seven men, 13 women, and 10 children can be formed if a particular lady, so here we have the keyword particular lady, which is 1C1. So it means that here we still have 14 women. Same goes to this part, we only left 12 women. And a particular child. So in here we have 1C1 one as well. So here we still have 11. Then here we have 9 to go. Multiply, they mentioned that 7 men. In total we have 13 women, but now we still have 12 women. In total we have 10 children, but now we still have 9 children to choose in order to form the group. So it means that we have 10 men, we have to C7 for the men. Multiply, we still have 14 women, C12. Multiply with 11, C9. So that would be the situation. So finally, we have the answer. 6, 0, 0, 6, 0, and 0. Next, we have another example for permutation and combination. How many four digit numbers that can be formed? So from the keywords number means that it is a permutation situation. Can be formed by using the digits where we have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So my suggestion is to split that into two groups where we have the odd and the even. If no repetition is allowed and each number is an even number. So based on the situation, 1, 2, 3, 4, where we have even number. So meaning that we have 2, 4, and 6. Next, in the front, we can substitute the situation. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. So that would be the situation, which is the number which is four digit and even number. So the situation will be one, two, three, four. Let's say we have two, four, and six because of even number. So how many possible situations that we can have, which is the three. Let's say six has been selected. If six has been selected, meaning that get back to the first digit where we have two, three, four, five, and seven because of six has been selected, so how many possible situations that we can have for the first digit where we have 5? Let's say 7 has been selected. Next, 2, 3, 4, and 5. We still have 4 possible situations. Let's say 5 has been selected. So where we have 2, 3, and 4. So we still have 3 possible situations. Multiply the situation and we will have 180 numbers, which is a 4 digit and even numbers. So here we are and thanks for watching.